Hey friends, my name is Gia and I just love to eat, laugh, and lift. Welcome. I get the question guys about how I deal with the bloating so I figured I'd take today's video and just answer it for you. I am actually walking my pup. I scratched down to do this intro um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and walk and talk and hopefully not super super fail at this. <laughs> Bear with me here. It is also super super windy so I hope that is not too loud. Can you see the puppy? So from my personal experience, there's two main kinds of bloating that I get. One is the belly bloating, where you got the gas. And then the second is the water retention bloating, the one that makes my cheeks puff up, my fingers swell up, my legs feel tighter, my shins, skin feel stretchy. Um, so I'm going to talk through both of those two experiences and kind of how I personally deal with them and hopefully that helps you guys out. So first, let's talk about the gas bloating. Gas bloating happens for various reasons, right? Um, sometimes it's because you're eating something that is naturally very, has a lot of fiber um, and causes gas in your belly. Um, and then there's the other time where you're eating something that your body actually can't digest. So it ends up forming gases in your body. So for example, um, if you guys eat like cognac noodles, which I'll, the miracle noodles, whatever have you, they're called, um, our bodies actually can't digest um, cognac noodles, so it ends up for a lot of people making us gassy. And what will happen for me personally is I'll be bloated in my belly for like a couple of hours or if I'm eating overnight, in the morning I'll still feel pretty full just because I've got a lot of gas in my stomach. For that kind of stuff, you you kind of just got to let it pass, either through your top front hole or through your back down hole. <laughs> um, and you got to let it pass. Um, if you guys uh, also want to take like supplements or um, aids to help maybe prevent gas, um, there is a thing called Beano, which you eat before, it's like charcoal, I think, that you eat before your first bite of a meal that you expect to be gassy. And then there is things like gas sex. Now, I don't know necessarily that they, they work for me, um, but they they are out there if you guys want to try them out. And that's just That's just the world of gas. And if you want to prevent it, you kind of just have to start paying attention to your body and see what makes you gaseous and stop eating those things. Now, when you're prepping for a show, sometimes you uh, decide that you have to be okay with gassy foods because they're actually sometimes the ones that provide you with more volume and just keep you satisfied throughout the day. Another thing that I personally do, guys, is if I'm feeling super gassy, I'll actually stand up, walk in place like this, or do side twists like this, and it sounds, it looks super strange, but it actually gets the gas moving out of this system. Now it's gonna have to exit one of your orifices, <laughs> but uh, but it does move it does move the gas around. So anything that moves the abdomen. So if I'm just standing right here, I'm just kind of like twisting, twisting from my abs. Um, I'll put my phone down in a little bit and show you, but uh, that's one thing that I do personally to get rid of the gas. Now let's talk about the other swelling part. So the other kind of swelling that I personally get is water retention. So water retention comes, um, water retention happens for me during a couple of times. Maybe I'm eating too much salt or maybe, um, maybe I've just been stressing a lot or maybe I just haven't been eating enough food. And so I will start feeling my cheeks get puffy. I will start, my fingers feel like they're swollen. I will feel my thighs feeling like the skin is stretching a little bit. Now, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with being a thick person, <laughs> thick girl. I, I love um, being thick, but when it comes to water retention, sometimes it, it's so immediate that it feels uncomfortable, right? So here are the things that, the, so the things that cause water retention for me would include, again, um, salt, Consuming a lot of salt, more salt than I normally consume, not sleeping enough, and high levels of stress. All of those things um, 
do cause water retention for me and as I understand it, it causes water retention for a lot of people as well. Your water retention may be different. You may not get water retention in your cheeks. You may get it somewhere else. You may get water retention in your abdomen area. Um, not to be mistaken or confused with, with gas, gas bloating. So the way that I personally get rid of my water retention, guys, is I drink a ton more water. It sounds counterintuitive, but the way water retention happens is it either gets stuck under your skin and your cells. And when your cells um, are loaded with water, when you introduce more water into your body, it actually gets more absorbed into your cells. And then your cells are like, whoa, I'm overloaded with the water. I need to get rid of it. <laughs> so that's why you drink more water. And especially too, it just flushes out some of the things that are in your body that hold on, to, that help you hold on to water, right? Like the salt and all those things. But here's what I would say. Just like anything there is in the world, you can have too much of it. Please do not chug a gallon of water. You can OD and you can die. Um, very extreme cases, but drink more water throughout the day. So if your normal protocol is to drink uh, half a gallon of water a day, try drinking a gallon or, uh, or a gallon and a half throughout the entire day and see how that helps you flush the water out. Yes, you will pee more, but make sure that you're, you're peeing out the, good, the things that you're trying to, to get out, right? Um, the other thing that I like to do is make sure that I get a sweat in, whether that's in the form of cardio or weightlifting where I'm just dripping sweat. The reason, the reason for that is because when you're pushing your heart rate up, you're actually um, allowing your cells to extract more of that water from your body. And I feel personally that when I start to a sweat, it's a lot easier for me to just keep sweating so that um, I can get more of that water out. Um, I don't go overboard and do like a three hour cardio session. I always think about safety and my health first before I do anything extreme like that. I have tried those sweat bands and those like sweat sticks. They're very, very temporary. I don't really, I mean, they're fine for like right before a bodybuilding show, but it's nothing that I would tell you guys like, hey, use this as a way to get your sweat out. Honestly, I think you could get as much sweat out just by doing cardio or wearing extra layers of clothes, so why waste your money? Um, and then, what are the things that I do? Oh, I also, um, if I've had a ton of salt, if I'm, um, if I am swollen because of the, wow, the sun is strong. If I am swollen because of my salt consumption, I'll actually reduce my salt consumption. So I won't maybe, let's say, add soy sauce to food or add so much salt to food. I'll let the natural salts be there. Maybe I'll add a sprinkler here or two. Never ever fully take away salt <laughs> from your diet. Salt is a critical part of our body. Um, it helps us keep the water that we need in our body. Um, and if you don't have salt <laughs> in your body, that means your muscles will not have water in them. That means you will cramp up and you will likely get injured. So please, please, please do not entirely eliminate all sodium from your food. Um, don't go there looking for packages with zero salt, zero this, zero that. But also be aware of like, maybe make sure if you're buying pre-made food that you're not getting food that has 600 milligrams of salt per serving. It's, in, it's insane. If you guys ever look at the nutrition label, also start to pay attention to the sodium amount that's in a serving because it's intense. I know most people look at proteins, fats, and carbs, and that's great. But start looking at the other components within that nutrition label too because it it really gives you some really great insight as to like, okay, after I eat this, why do I feel a little bit more swollen? Oh, and in general, it's really good to just keep your body moving throughout the whole day. So even if you have a desk job like me, get up every hour or so and just walk around. Maybe it's five minutes, maybe it's 10 minutes, or maybe if you're having a meeting, just have your meeting standing up instead of sitting down. Um, all, of the, all of those kind of movements that you make throughout the day count. And it's actually a really good idea to just move evenly or throughout the day um, just to get all the, the nutrients and all the liquids in your body um, in your blood flowing through your veins and your muscles and your organs and so always keep that in mind guys um, so if I were to have 
If I were to summarize all of this for you guys, gas bloating. Start to pay attention to foods that make you gassy. Maybe it's super high fiber, maybe it's foods that you can't digest. Um, for example, eating super, super high amounts of fake sugars that I can't digest, I find gets me gassy. Um, I've actually personally tried to eliminate those now from, from my foods uh, for other reasons, and I'll get to that maybe in some other video. But pay attention to foods that make you gassy and try to eliminate them. And if you decide not to eliminate them because you like the way that they make you um, full and all that thing, all that stuff, be okay with being gassy and just let it out. Um, look into Beano and into GasX if that's something you're into and do some movements that actually expel the gas from your body. So again, those side twists that I was talking about. As for water retention and water swelling, uh, the tips that I have is drink more water. Be more aware of your sodium intake. Do research on how much sodium, sodium you should be drinking. Never 100% completely eliminate sodium from your diet, please. Drink water throughout the day. Keep your body moving, whether it's through walking. Break a sweat. Um, and uh, break a sweat. And I also have no idea, guys, but when it comes to water retention, eating raw bell peppers and raw mushrooms actually help my swelling go away. I don't know the science behind that. I don't know if that's particular to my body. I don't know if that's in my head, but it works. I also just try to make sure that I try to stay away from as much processed foods and eat a little bit more of whole foods because when it comes to processed foods, there's sometimes just so much crudoodles in there that you don't know what to expect from your body. So always eat foods that you know how your body will respond to and try to stay away from too much process and too much sodium. Yeah, here's the movement that I was talking to you guys about. So even when it's late at night, guys, you can do this movement at home and you don't have to be loud about it. But if you're trying to get rid of gas bloat, I just walk in place, swing my arms, and I move my abs. Or I just stand here like this. And I do that, and it will feel really uncomfortable. But that's because you're moving all your gas downward <laughs> and sometimes upward. But... Um, you'll feel it moving and make sure that you're twisting to the point where you can kind of feel your abs like really kind of work um, and I would say do it a hundred times and see how that moves moves the gas around and if you need to keep doing it do it some more all right guys I hope that was super helpful uh, if you have any questions just let me know put in the comments below anything else in particular that you guys want me to cover put that in the comments below as well um, and if you guys want to see more content from this mug, hit that subscribe button. There's a notification bell right next to it. Ding, 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 ding. Every time this baby gorilla posts a new video. If you guys aren't really following me on social, I'd love it if you do. Alright guys, hope that was helpful. Have a great day. See ya. And of course, a very important thing that I forgot to mention. Give all of these things time. Gas can go away in a couple of hours, maybe a day, maybe for extreme cases, a couple of days, or maybe a little bit more. For water retention, I personally give myself a week. The reason being is because I want to do things in a healthy way. And when you're also drinking more water, guys, drink maybe an extra multivitamin through that day. Otherwise, we have a possibility of depleting our bodies from all that good vitamins that we have. So give it time, be patient, and just remember everything is for the long term. Alright guys, that's for real it. <laughs> See ya.